during that time of the, you know, we were changing the flag, you know, voting to change the flag out. I did feel uh, that I did have, you know, some sinus pressure, some, you know, I was a little drowsy for a day or two, um, but I, I thought that maybe I was coming down with the flu, uh, like a lot of people said. And um, I guess it was when the speaker and the lieutenant governor, uh, they announced that they got it. Uh, they kind of announced that, you know, a lot of uh, people, legislators, staff, people who've been at the Capitol for these past so many days, uh, it's going to be a free test at the Capitol. So I went and got tested that Monday morning at the Capitol. And uh, Tuesday night, I got my result back uh, from Dr. Dobbs called me and said, hey, you tested positive. Uh, I did go out to a restaurant, uh, you know, kind of celebrating one of the days after the vote. So could have got it from there as well. So, uh, you know, it, it could have been the Capitol, but it could have been a restaurant or something like that, too. So I can't pinpoint and just say it came from this place. So we were practicing social distancing in, in the beginning. But uh, be honest, I think a lot of us let our guards down. We kind of got comfortable, kind of coming back up there every day. Uh, you know, uh, some people were wearing masks, some people weren't. But, you know, as we got into the meat of the um, trying to change the flag and a few other things, you know, we really kind of just, you know, just got out of our, got back to some normal habits that we shouldn't have. And I think that if we would have kept our normal practices of social distancing, like I said, everybody assigned to certain rooms, I think things would have probably been better. A lot of members who actually, you know, had it, you know, uh, everybody experience was different. You know, mine was pretty light, but some people had to go to the hospital. Some people had all kind of uh, symptoms. So I think people took it very serious this time to know, hey, this is for real. Uh, you can get sick. You can die from this. So um, it's one of those things that I think from – it was a great learning experience, I think, for all of us, that this is not something to play with. It's making sure we don't let our guards down and do what we're supposed to do. So hopefully we can let other people across the state of Mississippi know that this thing is serious and that uh, you take these certain precautions that this thing can hopefully, you know, uh, come down.